Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Really interesting problem today. We need to solve this interesting math test right here. We need to find the answer. We have 6 divided by 3 and in parentheses we have 1 plus 3. And of course right here on the left hand side we have a lot of options. So right now I suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. And of course after 60 seconds you will be surprised because your answer will be correct or wrong and I want to show you two methods. How can we solve this interesting problem? A lot of students do this mistake in this problem because they don't know about an order and they go with, with the wrong order. So there are a lot of answers right here. But I want to show you the main common two methods. The first method, if you look closely, we have method one, first method. If we go with, with parentheses at first, of course we can do this, we, we need to do this because at the first we need to go with parentheses. We have one plus three. So we have six dividing by three. And if we add one plus three, we'll have four. So times four. So we go with parentheses, doesn't matter. We need to start with this one. And let's go next. We have six divided by three times four. And if we go with multiplication at first, let's start with this one. So three times four equal to 12. And we still have one, one moment right here, six divided by 12, we have six over 12. The answer is one, one half. As you can see, the answer is one half because six divided by 12 is one half. And moreover, we have this option right here. So one half, it looks like option C. And it looks like this is one and only way that we can solve it. But I want to show you the second method. So take a look closely. We have second method, method two. We have second method. As well, we start with, with parentheses right here, one plus three equal to four. So we still have the same situation and right here. We have six divided by three and times Four. We still have the same. But what is the moment right here? In this left case, in this first method, we go from right to left because we start with multiplication and we go to, to left side. But in this moment, we need to start with left to right because we don't have multiplication, we don't have, we don't still, sorry, we still, we don't have addition and subtraction, we have division and multiplication only. And this is the main moment right here. If we have a division and multiplication, we need to go from left to right. We have six divided by three equal to two and two times four equal to, equal to eight. And this is our answer. We still have this answer. This is option B. As you can see, we go with two different orders. This is the first order, option C, and this is the second order, option, option B. But which one is correct? As I told before, this one is incorrect because we cannot go from right to left. We need to go with parentheses at first, and then we need to go from left to right. Of course, if we don't have about addition and subtraction, we don't have addition and subtraction, we go from left to right, and we have this answer, 2 times 4 equal to equal to 8. A lot of math libraries told that the answer is B as well, so if you don't don't swear me, you can easily check this answer. Maybe you have another, another method, uh, you can easily check it. Thank you so much for watching, write any comment, leave a like, I really appreciate it, and of course if your answer is the same, it's really good, it helps me a lot, it inspires me a lot to make a new content. So thank you so much for watching, subscribing, see you in the next videos. Have a great day.